Hi, I'm Kira from My Fussy Eater and today I'm going to share with you my favourite bits and bobs that I've been using around the kitchen and kind of feeding bits with the kids. Uh, so first up is these water bottles and these are from Poundland and they were two for a pound which was an absolute bargain. Um, so I love these because they are, first of all they were so cheap so I bought a few packets. They're really colourful so kids love them. When you fill them up with water they will stand so they open up. I don't know if you can see that but they open up there and they will stand on their own. They have a little kind of a ring pull that you can tie onto a bag or something like that and they also fold up. I'll show you like this. <laughs> there you go. So they fold up really neat and small into the bag and obviously they're completely reusable. They're just easy to wash out with some warm soapy water. So yeah, absolutely love those and a bargain too. Next from Poundland also are these mini casserole dishes. Um, and again, I think these were one pound each. So they are quite small, but they're really good for children's size portion dinners. Um, and in particularly for things like lasagna, shepherd's pie, kind of casseroles, things like that. Uh, yeah, so they were great. Again, I think a total bargain at one pound each. Next up are some bits and bobs I picked up from John Lewis over the summer. And these picnic bowls were the first things I got. Now they are kind of plasticky, they're what's hard to describe, very hard plastic. So very durable, hard wearing, which I love. And also they come with lids, which has been so useful. So for picnics and days out when we've been bringing food, you can simply pop the lid on and off. And then I've been using them at home as well, just as little kind of snack pots for the kids or uh, you know, to serve food in kind of a few different bowls on the table. So they were really fantastic. Now I can't remember how much they wore. I could guess, but I'd probably be totally wrong. But if you go to the John Lewis website or uh, Waitrose website, you'll probably be able to find them. Next up also from John Lewis or Waitrose were these silicone ice lolly moulds. Now I know we're nearly at the end of the summer, um, but my kids are still eating these like crazy. Um, these, I have two here, but they came in a pack of four, and I think they wore in around four or five pounds. Again, I can't remember, sorry. But I did also see them on sale recently, so you might get them a lot cheaper. Um, so they are just so simple, a silicone mould and a little uh, lid to go with it. I've been making fruit juice ice pops, so literally just from orange juice or apple juice. Uh, you pour it in, put the lid on, freeze it for a couple of hours, done. So they're a really healthy way of uh, making ice pops for kids and those have been a big hit this summer. Uh, something else that I received for toddlers was this bib, so it's kind of like a feeding bib and it's from a company called Little Shops, I don't know if you can see that. They're actually based in Australia but they do um, they do post to the UK um, so we've used this quite a few times now, it's been really fantastic. It's easy to get on, has a couple of kind of snap buttons at the back which you see are really easy to do um, so yeah really fantastic product and I think even when he gets a bit better with eating he doesn't need to wear I will be holding on to this because I think it'd be great for like painting and that kind of like messy play activities so yeah another great little item that we've been using um, next up is a gadget that I literally cannot stop using at the moment and it is my new spiralizer. Now if you've not heard about spiralizing you must be living under a rock because everybody's at it. It is pretty much just using uh, fruit and veg or mainly veg to create kind of uh, like pasta substitute or noodle substitutes so making noodles and pasta shapes um, out of vegetables. Um, now I've been doing this for quite some time but I have been using uh, this little contraption so I've had that for about over a year 
now um, and it was I mean it's doing it was doing great I think I bought it for about seven or eight pounds on Amazon uh, but I've been using that so much I've just now got to the point where I want something a bit bigger a bit better and that's when I picked up this contraption so yeah as you can see it is a lot bigger and basically how you use it is that you fix the vegetable in here you turn it like that and then the sparalized noodles come out here um, that is it is more expensive than the other one I think it was about 25 pounds on Amazon so yeah really really good fun great gadget and definitely one uh, to get if you want it to get everybody eating more vegetables and finally the last couple of bits I have to show you are two cookbooks uh, the first one is recipes from a normal mom from Holly Bell this isn't a new cookbook I think this came out last summer sometime I think it was last summer uh, but I kind of go through phases with cookbooks if I get a new one I use it a lot for a few weeks and I tend to put it away and then refind it and I have just refound this and it's just reminded me how many great recipes are in it um, Holly also has a blog of the same name recipe from recipes from normal mom so check that out if you don't know her uh, but yeah just really great simple wholesome normal family meals it's a really good staple to have on hand when you just some days you just have no inspiration you don't know what to buy for dinner or what to make it's a really good one to have and I checked on Amazon this morning and it's actually reduced four pounds which is just fantastic so definitely one to buy and have on the shelf uh, the second one is Davina's uh, Five Weeks to Sugar Free. Again, this isn't a brand new cookbook. I think she brought this out earlier this year, even, even at, actually at the beginning of 2015 maybe. Um, and I was aware of it, but I just thought, oh, do I really need another sugar free cookbook? But a few weeks ago, a friend of mine actually baked some cupcakes from her recipe and they were amazing. They were so good. They were sugar free but they were made with um, I think maple syrup and she also used buckwheat flour rather than normal flour and they were absolutely delicious so it kind of uh, inspired me to buy her book and give it a go. Um, it's not all desserts, it's kind of loads of different meals, uh, family meals, side dishes, loads of bits and pieces. Um, but yeah, I think it's just another great staple to have, especially if you are trying to cut down sugar. So yeah, that's it. Those were all my kitchen bits and bobs that I've been loving over the last couple of months. And if you have any questions, you want to know where to buy them or anything, just uh, drop me a line, email me or put a message in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, please. And subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.